If you're watching this video, I imagine, like us, you're also pretty big fans of the Rusty Toothbrush crew. So when they decided to team up with Drake to produce a new set of collab snowboards and bindings, we were obviously pretty excited to see what they came up with. I have with me here the brand new Battle Rusty Snowboard and the Rusty Super Sport bindings. This is a setup that's designed to bridge the gap between backcountry and street riding, and it does so in a pretty original way. Volume shifted seem to be the buzzwords for the 2021 season. Most brands out there now have at least one snowboard in their lineup, which features a shorter running length with a pulled out wider waist width. Quite often, these boards tend to cater more towards the powder, free ride and free carve side of things, but what the Battle Rusty does is blur the lines between freestyle and park riding with bigger mountain backcountry riding. So how have they managed to do this? Well, a lot of it comes down to the shape and the profile that they've used here. When you strike it lucky with deep conditions, it's the super wide outline that's gonna really help to keep you on top of the snow. The 163 wide version has a 279 mil waist width, and that's absolutely massive. When you factor in as well that the board features an 11 mil taper between the nose and tail, it's gonna really, really help to keep the front end lifted and allow the back of the board to sink down. So no matter how deep it gets out there, this is a board that is always gonna be able to stay up on top. Now that sounds a lot like a free ride or powder specific snowboard, but when you factor in Drake's easy camber, that's what gives the board a lot more of its freestyle and park versatility. So there's pretty much a full length tip to tail camber running through the whole length of the snowboard. It's quite a mellow one though, so not super aggressive, and it does feature just a touch of rocker in both the nose and the tail. What that means is that it's never going to nosedive or sink down in deeper conditions, but when you are riding on the piste or in the park, you've still got enough pop and enough edge hold to really push this board back inside the resort boundary. There's also this blunt nose and tail here, and although that's not going to affect its on-snow feel or its powder performance, it is going to help to reduce the swing weight, so once you get it up into the air and into a spin, it's going to feel a lot easier to control without that excess weight at either end of the board. That's all layered up with a premium aspen wood core as well as both biaxial and triaxial fiberglass layers, which gives the board a really lively and snappy feel without being overly stiff or aggressive. So perfect for striking that middle ground between aggressive free riding and more playful freestyle riding. It's also got Drake's premium Sintra 8000 sintered base. So this is the fastest and highest end one that they have available in their line. That does put the price up a little bit, but then when you factor in that this board essentially does the job of two for one, it is still pretty good value for money. At the moment, it only comes in two sizes, and those are a 156 wide and a 163 wide. So quite a gap between the two of them, and for a lot of riders, you may have to commit to jumping up or down in a size. What I would say is that the board is designed to ride pretty much anywhere on the mountain, but if you're thinking you'll be spending most of your time in the park, in the streets, or with freestyle riding on your mind, probably best to go down to the 156. Whereas if you're looking to spend a lot more time in the backcountry, steeper lines and pushing it in deep snow, the 163 wide will definitely have more of a surface area to float on. But whichever way you look at this board, whether that's as a wider than average freestyle and park specific deck or a freestyle outline powder and backcountry specific deck, the Battle Rusty is rarely going to leave you wanting for more. This is a snowboard that is designed to go toe to toe with much more category specific freeride and freestyle snowboards and do so without any issues. The Battle Rusty is a genuinely versatile snowboard and although it doesn't look like much from its top sheet, underneath there's a huge amount of performance that is really capable of taking on the whole mountain. And then keeping things with the Rusty crew, there is also this, the new Supersport Rusty Collab binding for 2020-21. Now, a bit like the snowboard here, there really is a lot of freestyle and free ride performance on offer with these bindings, so you should feel pretty comfortable taking them just about anywhere on the mountain. Let's start with the high back then, and it's actually pretty stiff, so that's because it's made with a carbon composite material, and it's also got this asymmetric outline that really closely hugs and contours the back of your boot. 
The combination of these two things is what gives you really, really high edge-to-edge -edge response with the Super Sport bindings. But don't forget, carbon also really drops the weight of these things and it helps to actually absorb some of those vibrations that can be fed up through the snowboard and into your boots. So not only super powerful, super responsive and super lightweight, but also really comfortable and smooth to ride as well. You can also see here on the straps that they've cut down with any excess material and cushioning, but they are pretty large in their surface area, so that's still gonna spread the pressure nice and evenly across the boot and help to eliminate any pressure spots or hot spots that you may find. You'll notice as well, a bit like the high back, that there's also an asymmetric outline to the ankle strap. Now, this is gonna give you increased support on the outside of the binding, so when you're really riding on the line and at the limit of the snowboard, you've got that increased support on the outside to always help bring you back to the center of the board. There's also a couple pretty useful but subtle features going on here. One of them is on the inside of the ankle strap where you can see this pre-loaded spring. Now, when you take the ankle strap off, it remains in this open position. So that gives you a clear entry into the base plate without any obstructions when you're strapping in. But also it doesn't fall completely flat like this design does on some other brands. And that's gonna mean your top sheet doesn't get scuffed by the buckle. But also if you just one footing along the flat, it's one less thing to get in the way and trip you up when you're on the move. It's also super, super easy to adjust the positioning of the heel hoop at the back here. And this is a design that I really like from Drake. So you simply push in the two levers here adjust the heel hoop into the position that you want it, and then snap and shut again, and that's you. So that is this year's Drake and Rusty Toothbrush collab snowboard and binding setup. Now, obviously this isn't something that's gonna be suited to a beginner rider, but for any intermediate and up who wants one setup that can pretty much come out every day of the year, then this is a really, really good place to look. They're doing something that not that many other snowboard brands are at the moment, which is creating that volume shifted snowboard, but still keeping the outline and the profile more freestyle specific. So if you are looking for that powder freestyle hybrid in a volume shifted outline with a super responsive and super comfortable pair of bindings, then this here has got to be one of the best places to start looking. Lastly, if you've got any comments or any questions about this setup, then stick them down in the comments below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Other than that, that's it for this week. So we'll see you next time.